Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to find the area of a triangle with the help of the cross product. And the first thing we need to realize is that the triangle is basically, or I should say the area of a triangle, is basically half the area of a parallelogram, which is what we wrote over here. Notice that here we have the triangle. This is the base of the triangle. This is the left side of the triangle. But then, if we then repeat this length over here this way, this is basically on the triangle upside down. If we then take this side and move it over there, we have a parallelogram, which is exactly twice the area of that triangle. And of course, we remember that the area of a parallelogram was equal to the magnitude of the cross product of the two vectors, the vectors representing the length of the parallelogram on the bottom here, which is equal to the length of the base of the triangle, and the length of the side. So if we turn these two into vectors, so we have this vector right here, this would, would then become L, then we take this vector over here, and this vector would become S, we take the cross product of that, and we notice that the cross product or the magnitude of that cross product would equal to the magnitude of the parallelogram, which is what we showed you in the previous video. And all we have to do is multiply that times one half because the area of the triangle is half the area of the parallelogram. We can also take a look at it slightly differently. We realize that the area of a, of a triangle is equal to one half the base times the height. Now what we can see here is that this would be equal to one half the base, which is L, times the height, and the height can be found by taking the side here, which is the hypotenuse of this triangle, and multiplying times the sine of this angle, because H is the opposite side to the angle. So this becomes S times the sine of the angle theta, and so you can see that this would then become equal to one half L times H, which of course is therefore the area of the triangle. And remember that L times H was equal to the equivalent area of the rectangle. If you have a parallelogram and you turn into a rectangle, L times H would be the area of the rectangle. Half of that would be the area of the triangle. And finally, if we come over here, we can then say that this is equal to one half times the magnitude of S times the magnitude of L times the sine of the angle between the two. And of course, S times the sine of theta, that's equal to H. So this can be written as one half times L times H. And so again, any way we look at it, you can see that you can find the area of the triangle by taking half the base times the height, or simply half times the area of the corresponding parallelogram, which can be found by taking the absolute value or the magnitude of the cross product of S times L, where L is the base of the, of the triangle, and S is the left side over here, and theta being the angle between the two. And that's how it's done.